For almost 30 years, Monash University's Dr. Sabatino Ventura has been trying to develop a male contraceptive pill. It's sort of the most important thing I do um, at work every day. I mean, it's not the only thing I do. I'm also a, a teacher at university as well. When I'm teaching, I like to tell the students that this is something important which will change the world when it happens. But Dr. Ventura is far from the first scientist to give this a crack. Male contraception or making men infertile is not as hard as everyone makes out. There's been a lot of strategies that people have come up with that work. It's just um, the side effects and the tolerance of men to take those sorts of medications which has, has failed in the clinic. Not that these are any different from what women experience when they're taking their female contraceptive pill, but just men just aren't as tolerant to the same side effects as women are. With this in mind, Dr Ventura is taking a unique, hormone-free approach. His idea is to develop a drug that temporarily blocks the brain signal that tells the sperm ducts to contract, preventing sperm from being transported out of the body. I like to think of it as um, being at the airport, so a plane needs to get its passengers on board, so the passengers are waiting in the waiting lounge, um, then they get a message to get onto the plane, so we're stopping that message. So the plane's going to take off, but it's going to have no passengers on board. A contraceptive pill without any significant side effects might sound too good to be true. But so far, Monash's research is looking more and more promising. We've genetically modified mice to lose the two proteins that we need to block uh, with our strategy. And that makes the male mice completely infertile, but their other, otherwise their behaviour and their physiological um, systems are all, are all pretty much normal. So there's nothing changing except the, the fertility of the male mice. From here, the goal is to produce chemicals that will safely generate the same results in humans. In theory, this drug could be on the market in just 10 years, but it all comes down to funding. If this was a big drug company trying to make a male contraceptive, they might have 100 chemists making chemicals uh, for this one project. At the moment, we don't have very much funding, so we're working on a bit of a shoestring. So it's taking a long time to get where we want to go. But yeah, the more money you have, the faster things work. Pharmaceutical companies still aren't convinced that this drug would be popular enough to make the investment worthwhile. But recent studies show that the majority of men today would be interested in taking a contraceptive pill. For guys, right now it's basically only condom or abstinence that are available. For, for females, there's, of course, the pill, like implants or any other types of uh, contraceptives. So kind of evening the playing field for guys to also have a drug option available would definitely be a, a good thing. I suppose the onus is put on females to, to do their part where, um, yeah, I think both, both sexes are um, obligated to yeah, if they can get a contraceptive pill, fantastic. I would be really comfortable if a male partner could take a contraceptive pill of any kind. I think it would be really a great opportunity to sort of share the responsibility a little bit. When the female contraceptive came out, I think men were like, OK, well, that problem solved. We're not really invested in this problem. It's, it's more the woman that's going to get pregnant. But I think things are changing at the moment. Women want to have more freedom. They want to have more choice in their careers. They want to choose when they want to have their children, so they need more options. A lot of women have a lot of trouble when they take the female contraceptive, so they'd rather not if there was other methods they could use. Half of the pregnancies that occur in the world today are still unintended. So having a new male contraceptive, particularly one which is convenient to take because it's orally available um, and easy to get from the doctor and the pharmacy, I think it is something which will make a global, it'll be a global game changer when it happens.